Well, Chris, it really was remarkable. This involved the climber was a military reservist, still is. And at first it was reported that this was a suicide attempt and that he had changed his mind. I also heard amongst the rescuers that it may have been a blood sugar issue. I don't know which one is right. It might be that the two are somehow combined. Either way, it was a remarkable rescue done by a highly trained and highly talented group of folks that we are very lucky to have here in the Northwest. As the Chinook landed in Welch's, it signaled the end of an incredible rescue, the type we've rarely, if ever, seen on Mount Hood. Because of the altitude, more than 11,000 feet, and the warm air, a Chinook helicopter was needed for this mission, instead of the more nimble Blackhawks we most often see. The monster machine has a ton of power, but it's so big and it puts out so much rotor wash, it's difficult to land anywhere on Mount Hood. Usually, we would see a hoist rescue, but this machine was not set up for that. There was discussion of flying to Fort Lewis to get that equipment, but it was decided the Chinook's crew could handle the job with what they had, and they certainly did. One of the PJs who got out of the helicopter on the mountain to make the rescue said it was quite the experience. Initially, our first spot was, I'll say, a bit tricky. And then we ended up shifting up to a little bit of snow field. Still better footing, but because of the angle, uh, we had to like crawl out there just to get under the, the rotor blades. So as you came back, as everyone's surprised to get back in the helicopter as fast as you can, you have to pretty much crawl back in there just as the angle. But because of these aircrafts, uh, the amount of power we have up there and the amount of skill we have on the uh, pilot side it was uh, easy. He kind of went over that fast, so I want to make sure that really sinks in. You know, the mountain is going up at an angle, and the rotor and the chopper is going straight across. So when you get out, usually the rotor's way above your head, but these guys said it was at their chest level, so they had to literally crawl on their hands and knees, both getting off the helicopter onto the mountain and then getting back onto the chopper as well. The good news, the climber that they rescued was able to walk off on his own, walked into the parking lot here and get off, got on a stretcher and again was taken to a Portland hospital. But uh, once again, they made it look easy. It was anything but. Back to you. Well, we heard him say there, Pat, the power of that machine and the skill of that pilot, easy. Boy, it did make it look at that. All right, what a story. Thanks.